guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here welcome welcome back to the family or welcome to the family i'm adeline opera and in this video i'll be sharing with you some makeup items that you definitely need to have as a beginner this products or these makeup items are very affordable and you're not going to see any expensive stuff in any expensive product in this video I'll be sharing drugstore or affordable makeup products so if it's something you're interested in then you definitely want to click that subscribe button and let's get on with this video According to the way I do my makeup, start with my skin work. First on my list is a cleanser. So when doing your makeup, you definitely need a cleanser to wipe off any dirt whatsoever. So I use the Simple Skin Micellar Cleansing Water. Yes, so this particular cleanser is very affordable. I think you can get 3,000 Nera or so, 3,000 plus Nera or so. Yeah, you can also use wipes, but people tell you it's not so good for your skin. But you can definitely use the wipes to clean your brush after usage, after cleansing your face, reading it of the, getting rid of the death on your face the next thing you want to do is to moisturize your face so the thing with moisturizing is that it helps the surface of your skin it helps for it helps for easy application of makeup products and it just gives your face this glow and this seamless finish yeah so that's what it does so what i use or what i started using recently is this mismetics mismetics moisture balm yeah i just i bought this recently and i started using it what i was using before now was the zikel cosmetics 24k golden ampoule i don't know how they pronounce it but i'll put the picture up I'll put the picture up so you can see what I'm talking about. So it's from Zikel Cosmetics, yes. Yes, so you definitely need a moisturizer in your makeup kit. The next thing you want to do is to prime your face. So I'll be introducing this primer from Zaron Cosmetics. So it's a Zaron Oil Block Mattifier. So this particular primer actually helps to give you a matte finish so it locks in your oil yeah it locks in your oil but i'll advise you to use this if you're an oils if you're an oil skin baby like i am i have oil skin yeah it can be very annoying but this does the job for me yeah it does the job for me but, and you can also so this is for people that have oily skin if you have dry skin i wouldn't advise you to use this at all i wouldn't i wouldn't advise you to use this at all so what i advise you to get is i think the omarico gold primer yes omarico primer you can get that and which other primer you can yeah the omarico primer maybe my gold primer their primers are their primer is good so you can definitely get that for if you're if you have dry skin you can get that primer next makeup item you need in your kit which is a foundation so for me i use I use the Zikel Cosmetics Foundation and I also use the Motec Beauty Foundation in the shade MB360. Yeah, so this is what I use and I use this cacao from Zikel Cosmetics. I use this to contour. This it's in the shade 
035 so I use this to contour and then I use this as my main foundation color so I you can buy these two products are matte products so these two products are very they are matte product they have they give they have this matte finish so if you have oily skin i recommend these two products for you but if you don't have an oily skin and you have a dry skin i won't recommend these products for you so i recommend the l'oreal true match foundation yeah i had i had that foundation is good i've not tried it out but i got this from a credible source from someone that i have so much respect for so i got that was where i got that recommendation from so if you have dry skin or whatnot you can try out the l'oreal true match but the l'oreal true match foundation can definitely check you can definitely try that out and it's so this I forgot to mention that this foundation is actually very affordable you can get this for um, at the time I think I got this for two five or so I can't remember but currently ZKL foundation is almost at 3k that's this even true foundation is at tricky currently yes yeah, almost at tricky or is that already already selling it at tricky i'm not sure but i got this motec beauty foundation for four thousand naira or four five there about so they're actually very affordable another good foundation that you can get is nuban beauty foundations yes i heard their foundations are actually very amazing so you can check it out but it's i don't know it's a bit on the high side i think it sells for six five yeah so it's not i don't know the step i take is to conceal or is to highlight yeah it's to highlight my under eye areas here here and my forehead a bit so i highlight and i highlight using the zaron cosmetics liquid concealer and highlighter yes so i use this to conceal and to highlight yes i use this yes i use the zikel cosmetics second skin concealer i used it to i use this i don't know if you can see it so i use this to draw my brow yeah but the thing with these two concealers is that they are they dry up quickly yeah they dry up quickly so you 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 you, you shouldn't waste time especially your brows i don't even know how i use this to draw my brows honestly because <laughs> it dries down quickly like it, it's it's after a while it's going to it's not like the la girl concealer it's not like the la girl concealer this dries down this dries up quickly honestly so you have to be fast if you want to use it so i use this for my brows because it's very thick yeah the consistency is thick and it's full coverage yeah this concealer is full coverage i just and i just like I just like the finish that Zaron Cosmetics concealer gives to me. Like I said, I'll be showing, I'll be telling you what I use, and it has been working for me. This hasn't. I've never had problems with this concealer. I bought Zaron for one eight or one nine thereabout. I think that was that was the price I got Zaron for. I can't remember but this particular concealer goes for one five i don't know what the price is like but as at the time i got this concealer it was one five so and i think the la girl pro now should be one five or so i can't remember that i can't remember so another good foundation that i've heard people talk about so much i'm yet to try that out yeah it's on my list of items to buy but i've been hearing people talk about this particular concealer so much is the nuban beauty concealer and it's a bit high it's actually a price of a foundation 
So Nuvan Beauty concealer is three five. Yeah, it goes for three thousand five hundred. Yeah, that's the price of Nuvan Beauty concealer. So it's actually a very good concealer. Next thing I'm going to recommend are brushes. I use this brush to apply my foundation. Yeah, I use this brush to apply my foundation. But the thing is that I don't apply my foundation directly on the brush. Yes. So what I do is that I use this. Can you see it? Yeah, I use this to apply the foundation on my face. You can also use a beauty blender. The brush that you might need to use is something like this for powder, but this is a bit too small. What my advice would be, I'll advise you to invest in a brush set. So there are actually some affordable brush sets, but the one I got, which is Glam Girls, Glam Girls brush set, I got it for ten thousand naira, which is Pricing. Another brush that I use is this type. I use this to set my face. I use this to set my under eye and just to set my face. Yeah, I have this. I use this particular brush to apply my eyeshadow, like to blend my eyeshadow. I use this and this. I use them to blend and also if I'm doing matte eyeshadow look. can also work a brush like this, especially if you want to apply like shimmer brushes. If you want to apply shimmer eyeshadow, you can use a brush like this. I use this when I want to apply, when I want to contour my nose. That's what I use this for. And then I use this, I use this to contour my to contour here I use this to contour yeah you can see it is actually angled another product I'm going to recommend is a powder palette I use this powder palette to set my face this is from Lady V Beauty Planet Cosmetics I hope I'm correct yeah. Lady V Beauty Planet Cosmetics yes this powder is uh, my favorite shade is this chocolate that's my favorite shade as this is what I use to set the highlighted areas if you're a makeup artist then you need to get this but if you're not or if you're not a makeup artist then my advice to you is to get a face definer so a good face definer is that of um, Zikel from Zikel Cosmetics you can get a face definer from Zikel Cosmetics I don't know if Lady V Beauty Planet has a, has a has a face definer but if they do then you should definitely get that or you can if you're not really into the whole setting thing you can get their powder so this is yeah, this is still from the DV Beauty Planet. Yeah, so you can get their powder. I think this was about two five or two thousand naira. I can't remember. Yeah, two five or two thousand naira. I can't even really remember how much I got it. Then yeah, this is shade dark chocolates. So this is my shade in the DV Beauty Planet. Yeah, so you can get their powder. They have. After their powder is really really nice on it. I love the finish that it gives to my makeup. I get from Zikel, this goes for about five thousand naira. While this, I think I bought this seven five or six. Ah, I can't remember, but it wasn't more than seven five. So I draw my brow next, and I use this. Yeah, this is what I use for my brow, like I mentioned. So I use this for my brow. I use this particular. I used to use an angled brush before. Yeah, I used to use an angled brush before, but I started preferring this type of brush. It's flat. I hope you can see it. So it's flat. So this is what I use now to draw my brow. And then I use this to blend it out. Yeah, I know it's not fluffy, but 
this works for me i just dab it my eye i just dab it yeah. i use the davis pencil to draw my brow so if i'm not using the davis pencil i use this brow pencil from this brow pencil from zikel cosmetics which is the zikel brow feeders pencil that's it for my eyebrow next thing i do after drawing my eyebrow is to apply eyeshadow so my absolute favorite eyeshadow palette as at this time is the lydia stanley x zikel cosmetics eyeshadow palette just pardon me my eyeshadow palette broke also yeah so this is what this is what the color shades look like i love the variety of colors it has matte and it has shimmer yeah i got this for about um five thousand naira. yeah it sells for five thousand naira. so it's affordable if you get this you can do almost any kind of look with this eyeshadow but i also have this eyeshadow from v beauty planet i think this is also from lady v beauty planet so it's a bit messy yeah i've had this forever i've had this and i think i got this for like 7k or 5k as at that time which was like three years ago or so. so this is what it looks like another thing for the eye that i use are this yeah so this is a liquid or a mac a maca eyeliner and this is from Shu. i don't know how to pronounce it i hope you can see it too yeah. yeah so this is what i use to draw my liner look at it's like a marker and it's very easy to use i'm not really a fan of those liquid ones i prefer the marker ones So, and then this also is from this is also from V Beauty. Can you imagine? Yeah, this is from V Beauty. So, I use this to line my waterline. Yeah, and it's actually very good. I got this for 1500 Then I use this bonding glue to fix my lashes. Yeah. I'm not ready to try out those lash glue. I've tried one out and it didn't work for me. So this works for me. So you need a bonding glue or a lash glue for when you want to fix or when for when you want to wear your lashes. I do my lip next. So I love nude lipsticks and lip stains. I use this lipstick from Zara Cosmetics to line my lips. Yeah, I use this to line my lips. This is what the color looks like what it looks like this is what the color looks like it's dark so this is the shade night 09 099 I use this lipstick also and then this is from Zico cosmetics and then I use this when I want to go bold this is also from Zico cosmetics and then I also use this lipstick it's orange yeah, I use this. I love, I love this particular lipstick. I love the shade. It's so beautiful. Honestly, I love it on my lips, especially when I pair it with lip gloss. So I use this. This is from Beyond Beauty. Yeah, this is from Beyond Beauty. And then I go in. I always, always love to finish my look or my lip with a lip gloss. I use this lip gloss, it's thick. The consistency of this lip gloss is very thick. You just need maybe one nude or two nudes, and you need a lip liner. You need a lip liner, and then you need a bold lipstick, maybe red or any color as well that you love and that matches with you, that go that fits you. Yeah, so you need to get lipsticks absolutely and don't forget lip glass 
I love I love lip gloss honestly I took this from this eyeshadow palette to highlight but you can also opt for a highlighter I'm not I've not really seen any highlighter that really works for me so if you know anyone at all please comment in this please comment in the comment section yeah so please write your comments in the comment section tell me products that you've used and I'll I'll respond setting spray I use this Zaron cosmetics perfect finish setting spray yeah mine has finished another um, brand I would like to recommend for setting spray is the Nia Nia setting spray Nia yeah, I write it down for you. So I've heard absolutely amazing things about this particular brand and their setting spray. So if you want, if you're looking for setting sprays to use, you can definitely check out these two brands. This spray is amazing. So check out this brand and tell me what you think about them. From everything that I've recommended here used any of them please write in the comment section what you think about this product and i'll be there waiting for you and let's chat let's discuss let's get to know good makeup products affordable ones even the ones that are expensive but mostly affordable ones i know affordable and quality products so tell me in the comment section which other brands that you've used and if you've used these brands that i've talked about in this video then still tell me in the comment section and tell me what you love the most about these brands. So I'll be waiting in the comment section for you right now. So, I'm a makeup artist and I'm a beauty influencer. So yeah, I know what I'm talking about. So check out these two videos right here. And please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it to your friends, and then I will see you in my next video. Bye loves.